find out why the IS-3 is considered to be one of the best tanks in the game. Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks Ace Tanker series. As you can see we are again on the Overlord map and the standard battle mode and this time we'll be driving the IS-3. And driving the IS-3 is Captain Boyke. He is in a platoon with two other IS-3s, one of them being the new premium IS-3A, which is basically the IS-3 with the autoloader, but it's not the quite an autoloader that you could find on the French vehicles, for example, it's just the IS-3 with a better reload time. So, you might remember that we had the game on the Overlord, I uh, will put the link somewhere in the description or in the top right corner and we were talking about the positioning of the tank destroyers on this map if you look at the minimap you can see that the positioning of the tank destroyers in this uh, game is also on the J3, J4 position and they are defending the 4 and 5 lines against the enemies that are going to approach there now the platoon of fire trees is going to push on the 9 line. It's a little bit risky to push with the IS-3 on the 9 line because it doesn't really have a good view range and if any of those tank destroyers from the enemy team was camping on the B9 and A9 they could get basically shot from the tank destroyers and really pushed back and stopped in their tracks. Now they are taking one of couple of positions that you can push with the uh, heavy tanks. One of them being the, of course, the nine line that they are pushing here, and the others being the four or five line that you can see on below. But in my opinion, this is, in this case, the best line that they could push because. The tank destroyers are covering the 4 and 5 line and if they push around the corner the tank destroyers would be rendered useless and they couldn't do anything in the game and uh, clustering tanks on all sides is not that great. Now we can see that the enemies are pushing on the lower part on the 2 and 3 line. It's not a bad choice to push because you can get the flanking shots on the enemies that are in the base but you have to push it with really fast tanks as you don't want your slow tanks pushing around and the battle can be over on the top side when they come forward. Now we saw a really great push there by the platoon fortunately the IS-3A is on low HP and Captain Voike is going forward to fight off the T-54. Now, the matchmaker was not that great for them, they got into a tier 9 fight, but as you can see the gun on the IS-3 is more than enough to punch holes into the T-54, and they will not have problems because the BL-9 on this tank is very good. He takes a shot there from the Waffentrager, uh, sorry, the Rheinmetall, Borsig and he is pushing the advantage because the Borsig is using a small gun and the reloads it's pretty slow. So he uses a good tactic here, he forces the Borsig to shoot his turret uh, which is very bad for him because he wasn't able to penetrate with low alpha, sorry low penetration on the fat gun. Now, fighting with the uh, Jack Tiger here is not that smart because the Jack Tiger in that position where he is now is very well hiding his lower plate and cannot get penetrated by the regular shells on the IS-3. Now you can see Captain Voike using the HE shells on the IS-3, goes for the Waffentrager Panzer Fear puts a huge shot there with 540 damage and it looks like he destroys the turret of the Panzer IV. Now 
again pushing with the turret on the Panzer IV, but it looks like he was able to penetrate. I'm right, really not sure where that one went in. So as you can see, the enemy's force that was pushing on the lower part got to fight uh, against the uh, Rheinmetalls, two Rheinmetalls and a T-95 and they couldn't really push because they were facing some tank destroyers and they were not able to finish them. Now you can see Captain Voike loading APCR here. He, If he wants to penetrate this Jack Tiger 88, he needs to shoot at the flat surface. Fortunately, he wasn't able to penetrate, but now when the Jack Tiger is shot by the artillery, he can get a splashing shot and kill it. I didn't talk much about the Ice 3, we already had a game. I will put the link to that game as well. But you all know what this tank is capable of the good armor, the good mobility for a tier 8 heavy tank. The excellent gun, which is comparable to some of the guns at tier 9 and tier 10. And it really is a flexible tank and no wonder why it's loved by the most. So this is the 7 kill for Captain Voike. That's a GG and let's take a look at the post-game stats. As you can see, Captain Voike had a really nice game here. He got a couple of medals like Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof. High caliber medal, a top gun medal, and of course the master badge ace tanker. On the team score sheet, we can see that he finished first with over 5000 damage, 7 kills, and 1837 experience in this tier 9 game. On detail report, we can see that he fired 17 shots, of which 15 hit the target and 14 penetrated, which goes to show that the gun on this tank is very capable of handling even the tier 9s. And we can also see that he blocked 2000 damage, which is also great for a tier 8 heavy tank. Thank you all for watching. If you didn't like the video, drop a dislike or leave a comment how I can improve the channel. And if you liked the video, hit the like button, share and subscribe for more content as it really helps me out a lot. And then also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus to get the new content first, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you're wondering what to watch next, hit the little i button in the top right corner and it will lead you to another video. See you guys next time.